We're standing here at a tram stop in downtown Melbourne outside of the Parliament House. And we are on our tour roaming around the town, getting our bearings. And uh, we don't really expect to see much in the way of camper vans here in the big city, but we're uh, going to be catching a tram and heading down toward the waterfront where we think there might be some boondocking going on. So we'll see what we find out once we get there. Yeah, we'd like to uh, connect with some other people who are either RV owners or renters and maybe ask them some questions and you know get a little bit of a heads up before we have to go out and learn cold turkey. <laughs> get some pre-planning in place. So we'll let you know if we meet anybody and uh, what we find out. Come back down to the beach and that's our ship right there and we have found what appears to be a dry camping spot right here along the water we just had a wonderful conversation with these folks behind us who are camped here on the beach trying to learn as much as we could about what they call free camping which is kind of like boondocking or dry camping to us and uh, some of them are going to be getting on the ferry to Tasmania here tonight, but one of them is staying right here in the lot and will be going in the morning. So they were extremely helpful. They uh, didn't want to appear on camera, so hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck with that with uh, some people in the future. But they were really sweet and told us- some good tips about uh, an app uh, called Wikicamps. Is that what right. it, Wikicamps? Just downloaded Wikicamps, which is supposedly the best app for finding places to stay here in Australia. So we're already off to a good start. Right, very useful to talk to people and find out what's going on. And uh, they are on the road, one of the couples is on the road, about two months straight right now in uh, what they call a combi. That is the uh, little converted van towing a trailer. And they go out for two months at a time and they really go off the grid. So they're pretty serious boondockers. That's all we have to report at the moment. Maybe we'll run into some more people along the beach here. But we did learn about uh, wiki camps and we also learned about free camping. We thought it was called freedom camping, but they say that's uh, maybe more typical to call it that in New Zealand. And here they call it free camping. So this parking lot here is supposedly okay right along the beach. We'll have to look it up in Wikicamps. Yeah, maybe it's not totally official, but it <laughs> sounds like they were comfortable staying here for the night. Yeah, and they claim they've never gotten a, that 2 a.m. knock on the door. So hopefully they won't get that tonight. I promise them this video wouldn't go live until after <laughs> they left. This is the queue for the ferry going down to Tasmania and obviously camping is very popular down there. 